Fiery Squad, running one to Chain Road, Finleyville, Pennsylvania. And my comments are going to address what Mrs. DePuy or Mrs. Cox said earlier and what the board was discussing uh, about the bills that were brought before the board this evening for payment from last year. And uh, it's quite a sizable sum of money. And I've alluded to this off and on when Mr. Palermo was here about cash method, accrual method of accounting. And the last time he, he and I historically spoke, he sort of was leaning towards a cruel method of accounting, which I lean towards myself. Is Mr. Palermo, as the township's accountant, made aware when these types of bills are outstanding, due and owed, due and payable? So we get a more accurate financial statement of one type or another. Or do we get financial statements at all? I have never seen financial statements stacked on this table like the so-called bill pays and the agenda so that the public can be made aware by being given accurate statements of the township's financial position. I know that Mr. Lawson several times seemed very frustrated about the budget and the flow of money. Here we have Mr. Sweat in a post-it note, I guess, informing the board that these payments have to be made and informing Ms. Gallagher, or at least her opinion, given her information that there's a cash flow problem. Now why, why, why can't this township produce accurate numbers? so that the people know exactly where they stand. Is it that difficult? In my experience, we never had a problem like this. Never. We had the financial information put on the table for the consumption of the, of the residents if they chose to take advantage of it. We watched our budget flows. So I, I, again, based on what I heard again this evening, it's only underscoring, at least for me, that the township really doesn't know what our total balances are, given the fact that you have some significant, significant unpaid invoices. And again, as Michelle said, and I'm sure Charlie would be in the same position with their business, if they're that far behind proportionately in bills not paid from the prior year, that indicates some serious trouble for their business. And the same thing should occur down here. Yeah, I, Mr. Parrish, Mrs. Bourne, Chuck you know, all members of the past board. And I'll tell you what, that past board never had problems like this. Thank you. Thank you.